Hey everyone. The power went out. Luckily I have this little charger pack. But uh yeah, we got some bad wind gusts and it blew a it blew a transformer. I think I had my finger over the microphone again. I hate that. But yes, uh the power's out. You know what? Just sitting here with nothing else to do. I think I might just pull a card. I'm not going to pull a rune because that rune I pulled er earlier was a real stinker. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it. It was a real stinker. We light a couple tea candles. Just to lighten up the situation a little bit around here. And Well, I do it. I'm going to do the necrophonic while I do it. There we go. Oh. Okay, I'm shuffling. Let me show you. I'm shuffling. I have the deck right here. Don't want to catch him on fire. And I'm shuffling. I shuffled them. I'm cutting them three times. And now I'm putting them back in order. Sorry, you couldn't see that. Okay, I'm pulling one. And since you'll, you'd be on the opposite side of the table from me, so you'd get that upright. And you've got the Five of Cups. Now let me tell you about this card. There are certain tarot cards whose imagery immediately conjures up negative emotions. And the Five of Cups carries such a weight. This is a card which signifies loss as well as the painful challenges which stems from that particular loss. The card depicts a figure that is wearing a black cloak. The person hides his face in what seems to be despair. There are five cups on the ground, three of which have fallen while the other two remain standing. The person, however, seems to not notice that the two are standing as he is too busy mourning over those which have fallen. There is a powerful river which flows between him and a house or castle in the distance, indicating that a torrent of emotions have separated him from home. The Five of Cups symbolizes disappointment and the feeling that comes when things go differently than you expected. You are feeling unhappy that a certain situation hasn't really turned out the way you have hoped it would. Instead of moving toward a more positive perspective, this card seems to say that you are dwelling in the past, inducing feelings of self-pity and regret. The water 
which is actually spilled from the cups, shows that you might have missed an opportunity. It also shows that the problem is mostly emotional and not material or financial. The meaning of the cups shows that you have certain issues letting go of things which are in the past. What is more, it also shows that you are unwilling to learn from mistakes that you have already committed. This card is going to reflect the person who is so caught up in his past that he is absolutely incapable of moving on. This means that he has a high chance of missing out on what new joys that the future can bring. The love meaning? You may be going through a period of mourning right now. There is perhaps much to grieve over. You perhaps are going through a breakup of some sort, or if not that, a time of tension and arguments with your partner. It is helpful, however, to understand that not all is lost. The Five of Cups love meaning signals emotional loss, but also you may be overlooking what is still salvageable and what has survived. Oftentimes, these bring seeds of hope. Did an argument teach you about something in your relationship? Did it help to foster communication that would have otherwise remained silent? Did the breakup bring you freedom to explore your individuality beyond your past relationship? As much as things are to mourn over, the Five of Cups love meaning also suggests there are things to look forward to. Now career. The Five of Cups signifies loss and grief. In the context of your career, this can take place in the form of a loss of a job, business, or coveted project or partnership. Perhaps you are being forced to take a step backwards in your career. Or it may be that someone with whom you work might be abandoning the project you share, or you may choose to walk away instead. This may be a period of sadness and transformation. These changes are hard, but they offer a learning opportunity. There may be more to salvage than what you initially thought. Try to maintain positive relationships with old co-workers outside the office. Stay connected to the best elements of what you've lost. Financially, the Five of Cups in a financial reading can signify a lack of resources. You might be suffering of a substantial economic loss. There may be lots of stress at the moment, and you may have to make sure that you are not spending wastefully in order to build up your financial security once again. It is important now more than ever to remain positive about your situation. Luckily, this card can generally always suggest that there are many things that you can still salvage about this situation. So look towards what you already have as well as your skill set to see what you can use to make up for the loss. That light's surprisingly bright, er, than what it really is. It's not that bright. Oh, there's that looking glass. Ooh. Anyway, I'm sitting here in the dark thinking, damn, where's my phone? Oh, the phone went dead. Okay, it didn't go dead, it went out. But I'm going to get uh, the doll. Oh. Wow. Okay. Now she's expressing herself a little bit more. Come on, phone. There we go. I'm going to turn on the Necrophonics app and see what we get. Here we go. Okay. I want, uh, I think I want the reverb. Uh, 
Here we go. It's not too loud. Okay, um, first of all, I have never named you. Do you have a name? Yeah? Could you tell me what it is? Yes. Yes, you do. Can you tell me what it is? Okay, uh, I think I heard a couple names in there. I'll have to go through and see if I can uh, figure them out. So, do you like your Santa uniform that I put on you? What do you think of it? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you have a message for anyone else who might be watching this? Could you say their names? And if, uh, if the spirit of this baby doll is in here, could you move it, please? Move it, yes. Make a movement. Can you move the head? Do you have a message for me? What? How many spirits is in here in this house? I heard three whispered. By a child. And the three was pretty clear. Is there a little girl in here? Is she with us?
Help. How can I help you? I'm going to set this down here briefly. Wow. You can see the doll right there with the camera. Well, I'm looking through this and I'm not seeing anything. I'm holding it right above the doll's face and I'm not seeing anything on here. What's it say? Subscribe for paranormal videos. I don't want to subscribe. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Jeez. Let me go back. Oh. Uh, let me turn this off. Give it a rest. I'm all confused. Okay. Well, I have this sensor. Oh. Well, maybe that was just a, an initial reaction. Huh. It's lit up to uh, green. Put it next to a camera. Or this. Doesn't do anything. Let me try turning it off. Turning it back on. Huh. I don't know what's going on here with my equipment. It's acting acting all wacko and screwy and uh I don't know. Maybe the spirits are messing with me. Oh. Let me get the 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 flashlight. Okay. Cool. Now if the batteries work. Microphone or my my voice recorder might be uh, running out of batteries. I don't know. Oh, I'm looking for my spirit box. Oh well, I didn't want to hear all that white noise anyway. Oh, I accidentally turned you all off. Let me go back to uh, the necrophonics. I thought that worked pretty good. Here we go. Come on. Necrophonics. Necro. I'm going to lay you all down and light the candles. Aww. Yeah. Y'all like the candles when I... You like it when I light the candles? You don't. Do the candles make you nervous? Oh. 
What? What? Hey, y'all want to see a cool effect? Light. Light. Yeah, I'm putting light in it. That's creepy cool. Oh well, back to the necrophonics. I'm sorry spirits if you've been talking. And I've been busy. Talk, yeah, I talk. I talk a lot. What? Oh, there's the doll. Oh, the candlelight behind her looks eerie. Wow. Well, I couldn't have done that better if I, if I tried. Excellent. You're good at doing that. You're not. I'm not? No. I guess I'm not. Make those eyes light up. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Cool there. Yes. Yes. Yep. Don't. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys for a little while here. Um, oh, stop. Come on, do something. Okay, hopefully that might stop it. Oh, and I'm going to bring you all over here in the dark. Ah, there we go. Because I want to take a light on this subject. Yeah. Nope. Ain't no sense in sitting around in the dark. When you got bat rays. <laughs> All right, that there, pretty. At least you can see a little something in here. Now, hold on. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Wunderbar. Wunderbar, yes. Wonderful. Ooh, it's dark in here. I get some light going through here. I will, though. All in good time. There's your kitty cat. If you can't see him. Or if you can see him, I should say. Let me light this up. That don't help a whole lot. But hey, it's something. It's pretty. It gives a little light. Uh, now that's all the battery powered. Powered. That's all the battery powered light I have in here right now. Other than flashlights. But hey, it lights up the joint. You know? Let me get some candles going and we'll see if we can't light it up a little bit more. Well, isn't that handy now? I forgot I had this light up above my computer. It's battery powered. Hmm. Well, that was fun. Let's go back to the necrophonics again. I hope you gave me a name for this doll. Because I'd like to know what to call her. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna shut her down now. <laughs> nothing going on. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. 